Okay, uh, I, this is Chi Zhu. Um, so for those who don't know us, we are X-Real. We are, uh, so we're the category leader for lightweight AR glasses for the past several years. You know, uh, and we had a lot of good memories at AWE starting at 2018. So uh, we start with this, uh, we call that portable display. You can easily plug this into any computing devices with a Type-C port. So it gives you a virtual display to replace the physical ones. And then we come up with this Nebula system, which we basically reproject all the 2D applications in front of you in the glasses. And it's very similar to, you know, in a couple years later, uh, Vision Pro uh, trying to do. And also, uh, last year, we launched Beam which is like an adapter to enable a portable spatial display where we can actually enable the spatial anchor for all the displays there. And also, this can end up supporting more devices. So um, for the starting at uh, 2020, we shipped over 400 uh, lightweight AR glasses and probably the best selling AR glasses in the market right now. And we learned so much about those uh, customer feedbacks. Uh, that's how we actually evolve and take step further a little by little, and you know, every year. So this is what we got so far. Uh, last year, about 45% of the entire market share. And the Beam we we're launching last year, we got 70% of attach rate, which means you know, um, everybody who buy our glasses, 70% of the people will also think they will pair that with the Beam. And they think it's not only the glasses, but the glasses and the Beam together as a total experience. And the the number is also pretty encouraging for us, for the retention and everything. We have about over four hours usage per week. And for the top 10 heavy users, that number is over 12 hours per week. So what's next, right? So previously, all we talked about is mostly uh, spatial display. And how do we actually going to migrate from spatial display to what we call spatial computing? And what is really hindering the AR adoption today. I think there's mainly three reasons we're going to talk about today. Uh, the first one is the device fragmentation. So if you look at the devices we have today, it's all different kind of form factor, uh, different product definition, different use cases there. Okay. Um, unfortunately, we don't see a moment where um, what iPhone has, and suddenly everybody actually going to convert into the same direction. So um, we think it's actually going to end up converting into three different categories. Um, the first one will be the XR HMD, right? Just like Vision Pro, it gives you the most immersive kind of experience. It's definitely going to be a little heavier. It's more expensive. But if you want to go for that kind of experience, that's the choice. And the other side will be all-day wearable glasses. You don't ever take them off but you wear them, and there's actually a little smart features, AI features, to make that more and more powerful. And there was something in the middle we call it AR glasses. It is not all-day wearable, but we'll call that all-day portable, which means you carry that with you all the time, and from time to time, you take it out, you plug this into your devices. Boom, you have this, you know, a good experience. And there's no right and wrong. You know, it's just meeting different demands for different customers. Just like, you know, the traditional glasses, we have contact lens, we have corrective uh, glasses, we even have surgery. And just like computers, we have desktop, we have laptop, we have tablet. I think, you know, at least for the five years in the future, if not longer, we're actually going to see three different trends going forward. And maybe at some point, but it's going to be we're talking about long term, we're actually going to see those converging into the same devices, just like my glasses today. So um, another thing is we call that complicated AI, a complicated UI. So um, we really salute innovation. But you know, if you look at this kind of stuff, it is really um, hurting us right now, uh, especially if you want to be innovative for uh, a brand new kind of user interface, if you want to go from 2D to 3D, you know, from our experience to the actual user, it's actually extremely challenging. Why don't we just go with, you know, what has been the most popular user interface for the past two decades and go from there and slowly, slowly migrate. 
So the third one we think is the content fragmentation. Let's be fair. There's not a lot of native AR applications today, right? How do we come up with more contents there? How do we leverage what we have today, you know, in different kind of ecosystems there? We'll start with mobile apps. There has been millions of them already, right? Has been running very smoothly. How can we leverage this kind of content out of the box? And the second part will be the home entertainment. You know, uh, we can play games, we can play console games, we can have live sports games, we can even, um, you know, watch streaming services there, right? But if we pour, uh, pour those kind of stuff onto your cell phone, you only get 10% of that because the size of the screen is much smaller. Any chance we can come up with a way we can basically put the entire home entertainment in your pocket with no compression, that is our goal. And third part, we call it spatial video. Can we come up with a tool that can generate a native, you know, spatial videos, spatial photos out of the box? So we're hoping, you know, if we can combine three of them, there's going to be enough content to begin with. At least you can use it on a daily basis. And that's what we call that Beam Pro. Okay. So it has the touch screen. It has uh, two spatial cameras on the back. And also we have two Type-C ports. One is driving the glasses. And the other one, you can power uh, the, the, the set. You can charge that as well. So this is, we believe, is going to be your ultimate AR companion devices. It looks like a cell phone, right? But we don't make phone calls. Right? We can have the cellular module, but we don't make phone calls there. Uh, but most importantly, we have this native Nebula OS that is built on Android 14 that can power millions of applications in your AR glasses right away. This is actually the first AR computing devices that have the Google, Google Play Store and everything. And also, the user interface, we try to leverage what we have today it's based on you know very intuitive um, touchscreen kind of user interface, and once you plug into the glasses, you can easily open up, you know, different applications. 2D, you can si resize them any you know any size you want. You can navigate between those two, and you can anchor them in front of you. You can also have smooth follow, so they can actually go with you very smoothly. So basically, we offer end-to-end -end hardware setup and also the native application powering that as well. So basically, you know, this is also based on a lot of feedback from our real customer. It's like previously, they pair our glasses with their phones. And one of the hurdles they're having is, you know, the cell phone is not developed for uh, AR application. It is developed for multitasking. You constantly bother when you plug the glasses into the phone, you're constantly bothered by notifications, cell phones, messages coming up all the time. So can we actually come up with a device that is dedicated AR or AR first, and you're not going to bother by your messages from your cell phone, and you're not even going to drain your cell phone's battery? And on, on the country, you can actually charge your cell phone with this one as well. So basically, we don't want to replace your cell phone. We want to free your phone from this kind of AR applications. In my opinion, this is your all-in-one spatial computing device. And also, I think the best part for that is, you know, we first add this kind of spatial camera and video capability. So what is spatial imaging? Let me give you an example, okay? So if you take a picture, you were basically looking at the memory you know, confined and compressed in this kind of rectangle. But once you actually play this in your glasses, what you can do is try to relieve the kind of memory and bring that back into your um, 
a space. You basically relieve that kind of memory and moment. That is a huge difference. I highly recommend you guys to try that out. Um, another thing is, you know, for those kind of memory moments, you really want to capture that and view that. It feels like the baby is right in front of you. It is so vivid, so real. And also, you know, what is the native spatial cameras? We have actually dual 50 megapixel cameras there. This is like a flagship uh, cell phone glasses lenses, and we manage to synchronize those in a nanosecond level. And in the meantime, we have this kind of pixel level synchronization, making sure those two are in sync. So if you compare that with some of other existing spatial video capabilities, you know, the lenses, they're too close to each other. And usually, the lenses they're using, they're different focal lengths, right? Focal depths. So this is actually going to give you a weird kind of uh, feeling when you look at different uh, left and the right. But instead, what we are get, uh, doing is uh, identical lenses with 50 millimeter uh, inter lenses distance. And this is actually going to give you more depth and also simulate the real human eyes as well. And also, most importantly, we have this, we call that photo gallery. You can actually review all the memories, all the 3D photos of videos in a completely different way. And for home entertainment, you know, to pair this with cloud gaming, you know, with uh, a lot of streaming uh, live sports, it's awesome. Uh, we managed to, um, to get all of those together into this, uh, this setup. And thanks to our partners like Qualcomm, we tailored a Snapdragon Spatial Companion um, processor that can really have a high efficient performance. And also, there's, uh, we have the micro SD card slot, so you can take up to one terabyte memory on top of this. And also, the native Nebula OS, it is built on top of Android 14. It gives you more intuitive user, user interface. Very easy to switch between the 2D mode and AR mode. So instantly, you have millions of apps in your glasses. You have this uh, home entertainment on the go in your pocket. And you have this native, you know, easy to use for everybody that true spatial imaging and video capability. For the price? If you think, you know, those different categories, at least for a spatial camera, it's going to cost like easily over $299. And for a cell phone or tablet that can drive your glasses, it's going to cost $400. And you also want to have an adapter that has the, the spatial anchor capability. All of them together is, you know, over, easily over $700. But we want to start this one at $199. We really hope everybody can enjoy this one, because we think it's a huge upgrade from our last generation. And the pre-order is going to start now. And it will start shipping um, July 18th. OK, so keep in mind, you know, we have two different models here. The Wi-Fi version, we have uh, 6 gig and 8 gig. And also, for a limited time only, um, probably four weeks, you know, for everybody, who own our first generation Beam, we give them actual $50 off. We hope you guys can enjoy this kind of upgrade. Uh, so who has the first generation, please take this opportunity. And also, for the limited time, um, who buy our Beam Pro today, we also get a 10% off for all the glasses. We're on sale today. Um, so that means you know, the Beam Pro and the AR glasses bundle going to start less than $500. We also have the 5G version, OK? Uh, so that's going to start at $299. And that was ships in September. Um, it's going to be available um, on our own website and also some of our 5G partners, which we're going to uh, announce later. And this time also, we're going to have an enterprise version with better support and all the other uh, uh, needed features for enterprise, OK? Uh, so that's also going to start at $399. Uh, it's going to come very soon. So for those people who are interested in the enterprise solution, you can go to our website and subscribe. And also, our 
premium kind of make glasses, Air 2 Ultra, which is available for $6.99, and we start pre-order a while ago. It's going to start shipping July 1st. OK. And also, that means you know, if you combine those together, you're actually going to have a hand gesture control, full six-off capability, spatial, just like your ultimate spatial computing developer you know, set. It's going to cost less than $1,000, less than $900. OK? So let's go back to this one. I think um, this is actually going to be the, the three different directions this industry is going to converge to. And we actually want to set a new category, a new category standard that glasses in the future is going to pair with a Beam Pro or a similar kind of form factor devices. And I believe this is going to become your everyday spatial computing set for today. You can easily use that. Very intuitive user interface. You know, uh, you're not going to worry about the compatibility uh, going with different devices, and you're not going to worry about lack of content. So we start shipping this kind of product in China, and we basically see the retention rate and the average use time is nearly doubled you know, for the past two weeks. It's really, really interesting. And also, you know, uh, the spatial video format not only can use with our glasses, it can also be played by Quest, Vision Pro, pretty much all the AR VR headset as well. Okay, so um, for more information, you guys are welcome to go to our website and also the pre order starts right now on the website as well. So please uh, dig in. And also, don't miss out our great partner, Sightful. They have a, a keynote tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Thank you. <laughs>